Hey guys, welcome to Club UX. Today is going to be a very informative video because in this video we will learn everything about user experience research. We will know what is UX research, what are the different methods of UX research, what are the different types of UX research and difference between qualitative and quantitative method. Starting with what is user experience. So user experience refers to the interaction a user has with the product or services and the experience that they get by interacting with it. It is in fact a person's feeling, attitude and emotions they feel while using any product or service. So when you design a product, you cannot just simply go ahead and design it and bring it to the market. You need to understand who your target users are. You need to understand what are their pains, what are their challenges. And by understanding all these things, you have to design a product that will make a difference in their life and in fact simplify their life. This is how you will create a winning product. And user experience research is the systematic investigation of users and their requirements. UX research helps you to know the user behavior, their needs, motivation, pain points, Basically, you aim to know in and out of the users, which helps you to create products which would lead to an astounding user experience. So user research consists of two parts, collecting the data, which includes conducting user interviews, surveys, and even review the market to learn user needs. And then you synthesize the data, the observations that you have received through the user research in order to reveal relevant insight. Moving ahead, UX research are of two types, qualitative research and quantitative research. In qualitative research, UX researcher directly observes how people use product and service to meet their needs. So, a qualitative research is basically an explorative kind of a method where the information is collected from the user in textual form and it is synthesized and analyzed by the UX researchers and presented in textual form. It aims to understand why the people do the things that they do. There are essentially six key methods of conducting qualitative research starting with focus group. In focus group, a group of people participate in a guided discussion to gauge opinion and gather information from users about product services and features before they have been developed. A contextual interview is a one-on-one -on -one interaction between user and researcher which is carried out in the environment of the user rather than the lab which makes it one of the most natural and realistic form of conducting user research. Then we have user interview which is a conversational method of research where a personal interview is carried out with one respondent at a time to get details in depth from the respondent. User interviews can be carried out in person face to face or even by using various online tools like Zoom, Webex, etc. Then you have ethnography where the researchers immerse themselves in group or organizations to understand their cultures to get an insider's point of view. Ethnography is a very in-depth and detailed form of user research method and it's very interesting to know that sometimes ethnographic surveys can be carried on for a few weeks, months or even years. Then you have observational research. It's a non-experimental study in which user behavior is systematically observed and recorded. Observational research does not involve measurements in numbers but involves measuring the characteristics by dealing with five sensory organs. Then you have record keeping which makes use of existing reliable documents as the data source which can be used in news research. We already have a video on the key six research methods of conducting qualitative research. Do check that out if you want to learn about that. Now let's understand what are the key advantages and disadvantages of qualitative research. So the best thing about qualitative research is that you can get a lot of information from smaller sample size, open-ended questions reveals abundant information, which helps you to get the reasoning behind user decisions. The research is flexible and cost-effective. However, the disadvantages lies on the fact that it relies on the knowledge of the researchers only. The difference in opinions regarding the research analysis leads to difference in the data interpretation. Because the data is subjective, the analysis is time consuming and there is a lack of statistical representation which leads to the doubts in the results which is inferred from the qualitative research. Use qualitative research methods when you need to explore user problem, when the problems can't be quantified, you need to understand the context and user environment and want to generate product ideas. 
With this, let's move ahead and understand what is a quantitative research. In quantitative research, the data that is collected from the user is in numeric form, which is then analyzed with the help of various statistical and mathematical tools and presented in the form of graphs, pie charts and other mathematical methods. There are key three methods of conducting quantitative research, starting with surveys. In surveys, the researcher first selects a sample of respondents and data is then collected from them through questions either in person or paper or by phone or online. In quantitative research, closed-ended questions are asked. In experimental research, it aims to understand the cause and effect relationships among the group of variables under a study. It is a scientific approach using two sets of variables. Then you have correlational research, which aims to understand the extent of a relationship between two or more variables and attempts to understand how one impacts the other and what all changes that occurs. Let's understand the advantages and disadvantages of this type of research. So the best thing with quantitative research is that you can collect a lot of data from larger sample size and because you use mathematical tools, the research collection is quick and analysis is quick as well. And this form of research can be done remotely and the participant identity remains anonymous. Disadvantages lies in the fact that you can't follow up on the answers after the survey is completed. The reasoning behind answers can't be understood. Focus on numbers can be misleading and this kind of a research is costly. Use quantitative research method when you have to quantify a problem or validate or invalidate a research hypothesis. However, a good UX research is in fact a combination of both qualitative and quantitative research. You don't need to use all the methods at once. However, combining few methods together will certainly bring a lot of benefits and enrich you with user feedback. For example, just start with user interviews and end it by conducting a survey. Difference in qualitative and quantitative research lies in the fact that while qualitative research is explorative in nature, you aim to understand user behavior, needs, pain points, data is collected in textual form and is analyzed and synthesized in textual form. You ask a lot of open-ended questions which starts from why, what and how. However, in quantitative research, the data is collected in numeric form and is analyzed, synthesized in numeric form. It aims to understand how much, how many, how often. Guys, in this video, we aim to understand what is UX research, UX research methods and what are qualitative and quantitative research methods. You can check out our website yukti.io and can get more detailed information on the topic. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to Club UX to learn about UX, UI, UX research and more.